praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. We want to bless God because of this day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. And it is time we meet again to add to our knowledge in the name of Jesus. Uh, I believe that you're blessed. Your week has been beautiful. Mine has been. And I thank God because I'm here. And God has been faithful to me. My prayer is as we engage in these teachings, you will be blessed. You'll be set free. You will come out of bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For Christ has called us and graced us to live a life that is free. We must be free from oppression. We must be free. We must be free from every kind of, you know, bondage for us to really enjoy the blessing of salvation. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we just enter into this session of learning, I pray that my viewer and my listener will understand and their mind's eyes shall be sharpened and open and they will see and they will notice, they will note problems affecting their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. May you set as many as can hear me and can see me free of every bondage of any kind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today I want to teach about, you know, animal spirits that control humans through witchcraft. Praise the Lord. Animal spirits that control humans through witchcraft. Um, in the book of Daniel, in the book of Daniel chapter 4, we find the first man we see ever uh, leaving his environment uh, to go into the forest and to live like an animal. And it is King Nebuchadnezzar. Praise God. Uh, Daniel chapter 4. And I'm going to read verse 28 onwards. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. The king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? Praise the Lord. And uh, while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken. The kingdom is departed from thee, praise God, and they shall drive thee from men, and their, thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as an oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. King Nebuchadnezzar was, was a very mighty king. In fact, the Bible records that King Nebuchadnezzar always made life. Whether, whether, whether King Nebuchadnezzar wanted to live, used to live, if he wanted you dead, my friend, you would be dead. He was powerful. And then out of his power, he one day he was just walking, you know, on his balcony and he was looking at his life and he was he was feeling like, oh, my God, I have made it. King Nebuchadnezzar, I've made it. You know, he just looked and he was like, isn't this the glory of my power? Isn't this the display of my splendor, my majesty? You know, he was he was feeling like himself. And then that is when. He was, because of that pride, God allowed him to be driven from his palace and he went into the forest and he lived like an animal, praise God. And he was told it will be for a duration of seven years until you, King Nebuchadnezzar, will recognize that I am God. You are not God. I am God. And the position you are holding, you did not just get it. I gave it to you. It is in my power to give kingdoms to whoever I please. Whoever pleases me, I can give them the kingdom. Praise the Lord. So listen to me. King, King Nebuchadnezzar went and lived, praise God. 
33, verse 33. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men and did eat grass as an oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, till his hairs were grown like eagles' feathers, and his nails like birds' claw. He turned, praise God, he started looking like an animal, he was eating like an animal, he was walking on all fours like an animal, but guess who he was? He was King Nebuchadnezzar, praise the Lord. So, I just want to take this concept because God allowed for these powers to terrorize this king. For seven years, he was oppressed and he was living like an animal. He was an animal. You could call him King, king Nebuchadnezzar. He wouldn't answer you because he was an animal. He's, he, he had that spirit of an, uh, of an animal in him. And so he was driven through that spirit to live as an animal in the forest, eating grass, praise God, eating grass. You see today, anytime we see this which doctors, they, sometimes they are brought in on media. They they make the thieves, you know, somebody stole your car, then you went to Karmanzura, and then they did some concussion, they did some chantings, and suddenly that person is doing what? Is eating grass. We know the powers that made that person to eat grass. That is not the anointing of God. That is our powers from the other kingdom, praise God. And I just want to, uh, to, to, to let you know or to enlighten you by just teaching you how somebody who is spiritually wise who is a uh, who is in a position to like to what who understands spiritual things more than you can can use satanic manipulations and control your life by programming an animal spirit to live within you praise the lord the bible says in the book of mark when the spirit entered into jesus the spirit drove him, praise God. The spirit drove him. So there is a spirit that drives every man. And if it's not the spirit of God, then of course it is the spirit of the enemy. And at times you can be, you can be, if you are a weak believer in, in the sense of you are weak in prayers, you're weak in fasting. And then again, you are ignorant of Satan's devices. Then you become, you know, you become a very you become an easy target for people who know how to manipulate spiritual things praise the lord and so it is very easy and it is possible for somebody to be alive but the life that they live you know paul says the life that i now live it is not i that liveth but christ who lives through me so there are people the lives that they live it is not them that live but an animal spirit that is that has been programmed into their lives that is living through them praise god it is possible to live with somebody who, whose spirit has been suppressed by an animal spirit and that animal is what is is what is driving that person and in fact every time you talk about such a person you say this is not a human being this is you know this person is like a dog this person is such a serpent this person hey this is like buffalo praise god and every time you you mention the animal then people can people can easily tell what uh people can easily tell what you th what you what you think <coughs> excuse me people can easily tell what 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 kind what what kind of a person you are describing by simply calling the animal that is so obviously manifested through his life praise god for example if you say that man is like a buffalo you just know he has a bad temper if you say he came here like a lion we know he came like i can finish all of you here if we say that man is like a snake what do we mean everybody will understand that this is a treacherous person 
This is a person that you cannot trust. This is a person when they say yes, they may be meaning no, because they have, you know, a forked uh, tongue like a snake. Praise the Lord. So anytime you mention that animal, you, you get the picture of the kind of person we are talking about. So I want to teach you that in your life, you may be living a life today and yet an animal is at work within you. Somebody somewhere who understands spiritual workings, people who have engaged with the devil and they have sold their souls to Satan to serve him. They sit and they program people, they program people's lives and those people whose lives have been touched by such agents, they turn into animals, praise God. And you know, like what I know from my community, you can live a life and you're a tortoise. You can live a life you are a snail. You can live a life, you are just a, a bird, you know. You can live a life, but you are not alive because an animal is living through you. Imagine, if King Nebuchadnezzar, if God's punishment to King Nebuchadnezzar was just to allow him to be driven by powers, I think all along, God was protecting him as king. God made sure no power could just oppress him. But this time round, when he was so proud, and God wanted just to teach him a lesson, he just let them. He says, they will drive you. They, I think they've been wanting to drive you, have been stopping them, but now, they are welcome to you. They will drive you and you will leave your kingdom and you will be in the forest. You will be like an animal. I want to let you know that King Nebuchadnezzar, he had, he had the magician at his disposal. He had, uh, I think there are people who would trade places with him? Who would say, King, I will go to the forest. It's okay. You, you just be here. I'll go to the forest. He had that power. And like most of us, we, that we have we have nothing, praise God. Sometimes we are ignorant. We don't even know the kind of power we carry as children of God. And so people can just play around with our destinies by simply taking a spirit that is not of God and planting it in us, praise God, so that that spirit drives us throughout life, praise the Lord. The spirit drives us because that is what the Bible says. The spirit entered and it drove Jesus. Jesus was driven by a spirit that was in him, a spirit that was aligned with his purpose on earth. It was driving him to acquire power in the wilderness through fasting so that when he came out of there, the Bible clearly states that he was full of the Holy Ghost and power. So if a spirit a clean spirit will drive you to good things. A clean spirit, you know, a spirit from God will drive you to victory, will drive you to desire the things of God, will drive you to desire good things for yourself. Praise God. I know and I've seen people whose lives are so, you know, are so, uh, so evilly uh, programmed into animals that though they be rich, they live like dogs. You know, they live like pigs. You find somebody's wealthy, somebody has the money, they can, you know, they can get a house anywhere in any nation, praise God. But once they get that house, when you enter that house, you will think pigs stay there, praise the Lord. Why? Because that person, he has been, he or she has been programmed to live like a pig. Praise God. They love dirty clothes. They sleep in dirty beds. They, they just love dirty things. They are okay with that because an evil spirit, a piggish spirit is living through that person. Praise God. I have even seen people who have been so bewitched that they start transforming. You know, somebody tells you, you will look like a pig. And believe in me, you start forming, you start looking, you, you are taking that form of a pig. And if you are careful, you may not even be now thinking. You may now start reasoning like a, like a pig. I've ever seen people who just go, uh, they go to the kitchen, they find a dirty plate that somebody else had used. They don't even know who used the plate. And they take that plate and they serve their food and they are okay. Praise God. And you're looking at them like that plate was dirty. And they will tell you, oh, it's it, somebody just used it. It's the same, it's the same stew. Praise the Lord. People with a piggy spirit 
when we come back to Africa, one thing I know in this our our continent, many people rejoice when they see, for example, a man who is working so hard to educate his children, and somebody somewhere decides you educate them, but they are all dogs. You know, they will be they will live as dogs. So when somebody's life has been you know when a dog has been pushed into your life and it is contenting for your spirit many a times you will you will manifest your life you will behave as a dog praise the lord have you ever seen people who do not mind moving around with their cousins boyfriends with their sisters boyfriends with their sisters husband you know a man who does not mind uh, taking his son's wife you know and starting you know going out with her or even marrying her why because the spirit that is driving them is the spirit of an animal as 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 sexually unclean as a dog praise the lord somebody looks at you when you are educating your children when you are struggling so hard to make them become like you know people who can be respected in the community and they decide that child is going to be a goat praise the lord and you start seeing your child behaving like a goat like they cannot stay in one place they cannot rest they they they, they are high 24 7 you you are forever not avoiding tea avoiding coffee avoiding everything that you know the doctors have told you to avoid but you cannot avoid a spirit praise god you they program children to become as squirrels to think as squirrels you send them to the kitchen before they get there they ask you what did you want me to do they have already forgotten why because the animal that is embedding their spirits is an animal that is causing that is affecting their thought line it is affecting how they think how they reason how they react praise the lord so we need to we need to look into our lives praise the lord and we need to like understand the times and the seasons and understand how the enemy can use animals to manipulate our lives and for each animal it ha every animal has different reactions and that is what i'll be tackling that is what i'll be teaching you uh that is what i'll be teaching and that's what i'll be touching on because i would i would love for all of us those who the people who are already victims you know we are living lives as dogs we are living lives as you know we are buffaloes when we get annoyed we crush everything and then when we are asked so what were you trying you just say oh man i don't know what came over me this there is this kind of anger that i just saw red you saw red because you are a charging bull that is what has been programmed into your lives and i want you to understand that the people you know sometimes we have uh, brothers who when they go out to drink we just know that our parents may not sleep sleep at home praise the lord why would i just want you to think about it why would just a son of the family every time they go to drink they come back they want to kill their mother they want to kill their father everybody in that home will sleep outside so their prayer forever is please don't give him don't allow him to drink your advice forever avoid drinking because every time they drink they become something else there are people in their marriages today they can plan with their husbands for as long as they have not visited some place, praise God. But when they visit that place and they come back, even the things that you had agreed with them, they rubbish them and they've changed their minds. Why? Because an animal spirit is controlling them. You know, they change like serpents. When they are with you, they will talk something else. And when they are with that team, they will still talk something else. And they want to please both sides. Why? Because they have, you know, dual personalities and it comes from an animal that is controlling their lives we should look again as parents when we have children you, you know you cannot have your son who has been respectful who has grown up respecting you and then suddenly out of the blue they just start abusing you they start, they become stubborn they want to sleep outside they will not listen to what you're saying overnight it is not possible if you look at it nicely somebody has programmed that child's life like an animal and you will know which animal 
the moment you you start talking to them they will manifest they will look like buffaloes have you ever seen somebody who is wrong but you can't tell them they're wrong like you have to wait until like they calm down because they they don't understand anything praise god do you know the worst thing is when somebody takes an animal as stupid as a sheep or a, or, 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 a, or a hen and they program your child to think and to reason like, you know, a condo or a ngombe, you know, and this child who was stopping in class, suddenly they grow dim until they cannot even say three times four. If you tell them three times four, you they cannot tell they, they cannot give you a direct answer they really must count they must wait they must they, they will struggle before they give you an answer that child is under the influence of an animal spirit praise the lord and even you when you are so mad with them you tell them kondo wewe ngombe wewe why do you say that because that is a spirit you are seeing being manifested in their lives praise the lord we need to wake up praise the lord while men slept jesus said while men slept the enemy came and he planted uh, those tires, uh, weeds in, in, his, in, his, in his garden. Praise the Lord. So while you've been sleeping, while you've been swearing that you don't believe in witchcraft, while you've been, you, you, you know, you've been twanging how witchcraft is primitive and, you know, uh, and it's, it's something of the past. It's, it cannot affect you. They have been busy programming your children. It doesn't matter how far you take them. You take them to London, they will be deported. Why? Because you, you go to London and you become a cow. Why wouldn't you be deported? You go to America and you become what? You become a drunkard. You are drinking like fish. They, they, they have put a fish in you and beer is your water. So how can you separate the fish from the water? And that son of yours, you, you, you even confess, he drinks like a fish. Praise the Lord. He drinks like a fish. Do you know why? Because the fish spirit has been, has been, you know, put into his spirit and tied with the spirit. And now he desires to drink because if the fish, you take the fish out of the water, the fish will not survive. So this spirit cannot survive without, without, without beer. They, they cannot survive without drinking. This, this, your child must maintain and sustain that spirit by doing what the spirit demands so that he can survive. Praise the Lord. The spirit can live in him so that when he dies, when that spirit kills him, as you are burying your child, that spirit is busy now walking and looking at looking again for whom it will devour praise the lord brethren we are living in times that ignorance is very costly and i am talking to you because it took god to deliver me praise god it took the hand of god to convince me that witches and wizards are real praise god i used to think it's it's myth mythical i never used to believe it i mean i'm in christ for heaven's sake i i am called i'm sent i am i am born again but today i know witches and wizards can give a pastor a bible and tell that man go and work for god and the guy will be walking around preaching something that you cannot understand i've ever seen people who preach and you can't understand people who try to sing and what they are singing really if if you if you listen to what they are singing it takes you time to really get their point praise the lord have you seen people who write books and you read the book from the first page to the last page and you cannot connect you don't even you're trying to understand what they're trying to say but you will not understand why because an a, a satanic influence is working in their lives to destroy their lives praise the lord so people can program animal spirits to live in you and they will manifest in your life and you will look and behave like that animal your situation will look and behave like that animal you will you will walk you will talk you will you will reason like that animal and even the plans of your life you will plan like that animal praise the lord we need to look at our lives again so that even as i teach you when i mention an animal you can connect if it is in your life you can pray you can pray on your own praise the lord you can pray but so long as you know what you're praying about you can pray praise the lord because god has 
has highly lifted Jesus. He has given him a name that is above every other name. A name when mentioned, every knee must bow. I want you to understand. Jesus gave us a place of authority. He says, all power has been given to me and I give it to you. Why would he give us authority if we are born again and we don't need to exercise authority? Ask yourself that. Praise the Lord. Ask yourself that. And I want to tell you something that I tell to everybody who believes they cannot be bewitched. And meanwhile, they are dying from witchcraft. I want to tell you that salvation is the greatest reason that Jesus Christ came to save us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but will have life everlasting, right? And yet everybody is not born again. Why is not everybody born again? This is the reason. Because though salvation is the reason, and Jesus' death on the cross is the, is, the, is the ability power that is, you know, backing us in our salvation, it's not everybody who is out for salvation. Some people are okay the way they are. They don't need a savior. They don't see the reason of, they don't see the need. And so they are fine. Sour. But now for you to be born again, you have to go to Jesus. You have to give your life to Jesus. And then your name shall be written in the books of, the book of life and you will be born again. That's when you will start enjoying salvation. And yet God so loved the world that he gave his son so that we can be born again. So this salvation that came, you accepting Jesus Christ does not mean now you are free from oppression, nobody can touch you. It means you have the power to fight back every opposing power that is opposing your destiny. Praise the Lord. But it's a huge lie for somebody to lie to you that just because you're born again, you don't need to pray off some powers. That's a lie because you need to understand your season. You need excuse me you need to understand your community you need to understand where you're coming from who is your father who is your mother who is your grandfather who is your great grandfather you need to understand where you are positioned in the spiritual realm praise god for the name of jesus christ because this name is a name that is above every other name it's a name that if you use it if you know how to use it, you can be free from all these spirits. Satan enjoys your ignorance. For as long as you are yapping there, you are saying the way you don't believe, nobody can put an animal, how? An animal in me, you don't believe it. An animal will thrive in you, praise the Lord. And then you will be you will be contenting for your destiny. Unajua, the one of ukipata na pepo na in attacker, ukipata na in attacker. So you have to divide everything between the two of you. So I adjure you in the name of Jesus Christ that you jump from the ship of ignorance and go into light. For Christ has called us from darkness into his marvelous kingdom of light. We are in the light here. We can see things for what they are. We know when we are not moving. We know when we are not getting the promises of God because if a spirit is controlling you, even if in the kingdom of God there's liberty, you will not enjoy that liberty. Praise the Lord. I've ever seen somebody who is struggling with immorality. They pray, they fast, whatever it is they do, they cannot stop. They are struggling with lying. They are struggling with, you know, depression. Because a spirit that is depressive is living in them. It has been programmed. Marine powers, Majini. Somebody can get a genie and just instruct that genie to live in you and to make sure you smoke to death. Is it normal? You are smoking. You are, you've, been, you've been visiting your doctor. They have told you the next 50 pounds, the next 50 cigars you take, they will take away your life. I just want you to think about it. And we find you smoking every day. Do you think that's normal? Do you think a normal person can be told that at the next drink you take, you are going to be dead and they will still drink? Do you think people love death more than life? Do you think people love death more than life? What do you think is controlling such a person? You know, it's like a house is burning. Everybody runs away from the fire. But in this case, the house is burning. You can see it's burning. We are screaming the house is on fire and you are running towards the fire. Do you think that's normal? 
that is not normal. Praise the Lord. So I want you to stay blessed. I want you to stay freed because Christ has called us into liberty. And it's sweet. It is sweet to live a life where when you pray, God answers and you see the answers and you are happy about your salvation. It's, but ignorance is the one that puts you in that place where one day you ask yourself, is salvation really real? Because according to you, there is nothing that is working that should be working that is working. When you read the promises of God and when you look at your life, they are like two opposites. These are the promises and this is your life. They can't even merge because there are so many powers at work in your life and you are ignorant of it. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, when we meet next week, I am going to teach you about the turtle spirit, about the snail spirit, about every spirit. Most of the spirits I can think of, I can know by the grace of God that are controlling our lives. See you next week in part two of this live video. God bless you. Amen and amen and amen.